Hi everybody, this is the comic book the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host on, and this is another Homeless Report, starring the, the very strange individual, Richard C. Meyer. Now, I don't have uh, Madeline Kahn here today. She's on vacation. There's only so many times you can sing the same song for many years. She's on vacation. But... Comics Matter with your boy, Zach, is bleeding, bleeding subscribers. Absolutely, positively bleeding all kinds of subscribers. He had 104,000 subscribers just a few months ago. And now it is down to 97,900 subscribers. Nearly, 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 if not over... 6,000 people have left. 6,000 people. That is a, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of people. <laughs> that's a lot of people running from this channel. Because uh, he was basically an anti-SJW channel, pointing out all this stuff that was going on in these comic books uh, long before anybody else was. And he has basically rejected that. He brings up certain people to this day that he feels he's, he's connected... He's connected to, and he is connected to a few people. And just going through some of these videos, he's sort of brought back the sort of, you know, old classics. Going to have their their head their antos, which I would mention. I did do a video on her on uh, that dope, that redhead satanic dope, uh, just a little while ago. And I'll put the link in the description. You can check it out. He goes after Cena Grace again, and his number one target. And she's a big target. Gail Simone. Gail Simone. So it's basically the same people that he's been railing against for seven years. Uh, and you go through some of the titles of these videos. They, this is about as dreary and as boring as it could possibly get. Let me read this. Bible Belt, IDW pivots to Christian consumer, customers while Heather Antos, blah, blah, blah. No homo, gay, cliche, Iceman writer, Cena Grace, congratulates. One step forward, Tim steps back. Uncanny X-Men number two, Gail Simone's weird menopausal. Whatever. Uh, Danger Zone, another comic book artist passes away. Sorry for all the madness the comic industry contorted. The right can't meme. The secret of his success. Blind trust, would we enjoy comics more, we knew nothing. Exceptional X-Men number one, when I said, just sell me the hot dogs, I guess. What's his problem? Birthday party clowns need to download. I would mention the way Weirdo Charles is acting, he's acting like the clown. Basic common sense. Well, <laughs> Richard has no basic common sense. He's got no common sense. Uh, enough is enough. Autistic. BreadTuber begs YouTube. Um, another serious comics company. Serious question. I have a question. Bustin', Bustin' for Lion, Rich Johnson, and the Punk, Tom Brevoort. Often late, often great, always great, yeah, okay. Bog Standard, Birthday Party Clowns, Hate That Hollywood. If I see a situation pointing south, you can't keep getting away with it. If you're going to hit Anthos, let's see. Chill out, Alan Moore. A uh, devo demotivational speaker. Who's the audience for this book? Tom King, Bug Off Buster. I mean, his channel. If you think about it, uh, while other channels have grown very quickly, even though the comic book thing is not googled much, um, there are comic book channels and comic book creators that are on YouTube that have grown very quickly. Recently, uh, John De La Rosa is, is probably the number one guy whose channel is absolutely, his main channel has absolutely exploded. He's got, what, 36,000 subscribers. And even though he doesn't do so much comics on there, he has his second channel. That's getting close to 5,000 subscribers. That thing is completely gone off the charts. So there is an audience for this. But Richard has rejected the audience for whatever reason. Oh, I know why. He's weird. He's weird. 
Now, do we really want to watch his video, his latest video on this dope Heatherantos? Well, let's find out. Let's let's go through it. I'm sorry. I apologize beforehand. We are now ready to enter the weirdness zone known as Weirdo Ricardo's brain. And he's going to start talking. God help me, really. Because now I got to interpret this. We'll play at regular speed. If it irritates me, we'll, we'll talk a little bit faster. You know, get him to talk a little bit faster. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <coughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's your boy, Zach. And uh, so much is happening. I would mention no energy. Hi, everybody. This is your boy, Moron. No energy. So I was just going to cover, oh, by the way, comic book, the comic book, a functional history of the modern comics. <coughs> yeah, there's no book called Science to Science. You know, there's no book called Baseball to Baseball book. Comic book to comic book sounds like, sounds, uh, I hate to use this word, retarded. Some people call him weirdo retardo. I do not. That's lowering your host. Into something that seems kind of basic to say, but Weirdo Ricardo seems pretty appropriate. <clears throat> I was just going to uh, cover this one, uh, and this is actually from uh, like a week ago. Uh, what happened is uh, Wes from Thinking Critical, um, <laughs> he confused everyone, including himself. So yesterday he uploaded a video about IDW. But I would mention. West from Thinking Critical and, he, and, and Weirdo Ricciardo have been at odds. They've been going back and forth a little bit. Okay? Because Weirdo Ricciardo, for whatever reason, has been going after that bearded goofball in uh, uh, the Philippines for whatever reason. Maybe he feels threatened by the mileage from far away. I don't know. But he, they've, been, they've been going at it pretty good, from what I understand. But it had like a partial title... And it was, it was clearly that it accidentally got uploaded. So while I was watching it, it got taken down. And um, he was talking about how IDW was now going to pay $200 total per page, which is just absolute chump change. That's freaking ridiculous. I pay writers $100 a page. So that would eat up like half the budget. Um, but uh, he took that down. <coughs> and then I was trying to find it. I have a question. Does Richard smoke? Is this why he's always coughing? There's seven years of this crap of him coughing. I mean, you do, do videos, you cough, I do that. But what's up with that? Well, he keeps doing this stuff over and over. And, and I'm already like a minute into this. I'm bored out of my mind. <laughs> let's, let's, let's speed up this son of a bitch, shall we? Let's, let's speed him up a little bit. You get some uh, caffeine in, into him. Be honest with you. Let's go a little faster. Find it. And then he meant to re-upload it, I guess with the right thumbnail and title. But right. then he uploaded another IDW video from a few days ago. Right. And uh, it was, it's pretty funny. He did a video this morning explaining it. But there was a lot of uh, confusion. So just as I'm about to do a pretty simple video, just saying like, hey, nothing simple, dollars, Richard. Not enough. Uh, a friend sends me this. Uh, so Aaron Sparrow, he, he says, breaking and I'm like, breaking? This article is from like a week ago. No, there's a lot more stuff. So IDW is going to branch out into superhero, Bible, mafia, and serial killer comics. You should just say, not lesbians. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have a friend whose sister is gay, and she has like a, a shoulder injury from softball. And I was like, dude, that is the most lesbian injury imaginable. <laughs> Like, they're, they're saying superhero, Bible, mafia, and serial killer. What they're really saying is men. We're going to make comics for men. Um, and this is just their, their way of saying it. So um, there's a lot to cover, and I have to be just very clear about this. I am not going to cover all of this. This is a, this is a breaking news um, type of situation. So I'm going to talk about what I was originally going to talk about, and then I'm going to talk about the other Oh, things. my God. Enough of this. But this, guy, <laughs> See, this is also the problem, too, now. Now that people are all, like, irritated with this guy, uh, his, his, like I said, a few weeks ago, his channel has collapsed. I mean, and you're seeing the further cratering of it. And it's funny, the percentages of, of views 
is higher in terms of the subscriber count than it was about a month and a half ago. Let me show you. Let me show you what's happened on Richard's channel over the last month. You will not believe it. You won't believe it. It's just it's unbelievable. Now, here we are at Social Blade, which is this, this great site, and it basically tracks the subscriber count. It's one about tracking the subscriber count. It's a little off on the money. It's a little off on projections. It's a little off on uh, uh, just the views and stuff. But the sub the sub count is what you want to look at here. And I'll put the link into this in the description so you can check this out yourself. Look at how many people. How many people are running from his channel? Look at this. All this red is negative. Negative, negative, negative. Negative 100. Negative 1. I mean, just unbelievable. So, he has lost 2,100 people. That's over 2,000 2, people. I mean, just unbelievable. I mean, incredible. He will be estimated, he will hit 25,000 people. He will lose another 25,000 people for the year. He averages 490 people a week. This is in the past month. 70 people leave his channel every day. This is a complete total collapse of this guy's channel. And this was a guy that was like the, the Pipe Piper. In more ways than one. He was the Pipe Piper of, of SJW Comics or anti-SJW Comics. You know, and his channel has absolutely cratered to where it's nothing. He's basically put himself in a, a proverbial dumpster. We've been joking for many years that Richard's going to be living in a dumpster if he's not careful. But his channel is in a proverbial dumpster now. I have said for years he doesn't care about the culture. Okay, he just wanted to make money. And you're seeing this where he's attacked Eric July... West from Thinking Critical, all the other YouTubers. I'm not a big fan of those guys, you know, uh, you know, the Phantom Menace people. I'm not a big fan of them at all. But he's going after my friend John De La Rose, and you know, and De La Rose has a big channel now, has a more successful channel now than he does. And quite frankly, Richard's channel is not a healthy channel. I mean, the views are pretty good. I mean, you know, dazzles the views a day, but um, it's not what it was. If you go to his old videos, I mean, he's got videos like close to a million views. That Captain Marvel video that he did years ago, um, it's long forgotten. Um, and I know that there was sort of an every man kind of quality to, to his work, you know, um, when he was doing these reviews back in the day. There was a freshness to it. This is all stale, complete total monkey crap. This is the kind of stuff you you, you hide from, and uh, this this isn't good. It's not good. It's bad. It's bad. It's really um, embarrassing how this has collapsed on him. Uh, I would make a couple suggestions: reverse course, go on different channels that are friendly to him. Go to Anita the Man Skyver's channel. Start promoting your books on there. Stop being so freaking weird. And scared of the audience. That's one thing. Go through the 4,000 plus videos you have. Start deleting as much as you can. Clean your channel up. Stop going after YouTube, other YouTubers. Because everybody pays attention to what Richard says. Nobody cares what I say. But but I do know one thing. Rito Richardo, if I keep up on this, keep at this with him... I, he, I will make Richard jump. I've made Richard jump in the past. I've done it in a long time. I'm not. I'm not uh, uh, other YouTubers. Uh, you let me know what you think about this video. If you want me to keep doing videos on Weirdo Richardo, put a tip in. I get these uh, super thanks. I get that little heart with the with the dollar sign. The dollar sign with a little heart in it, uh, or whatever. <laughs> and send me a super thanks. It's a great way to, to support the channel. I'll, I'll go after Richard again. I have no problem with that. It's fun. And this is another homeless report starring the weirdest creator, YouTuber, whatever the hell he is on the internet.
Richard C. Meyer.